The origin of birds refers to the initial stages in the evolution of birds. The scientific consensus is that birds are a group of theropod dinosaurs that evolved during the Mesozoic era. A close relationship between birds and dinosaurs was first proposed in the 19th century after the discovery of the primitive bird Archaeopteryx. In Germany, birds share many unique skeletal features with dinosaurs. Moreover, fossils of more than 20 species of dinosaur have been collected with preserved feathers. There are even very small dinosaurs, such as Microraptor and Anchiornis, which have long, veined arm and leg feathers forming wings. The Jurassic basal avial and pedopenna also shows these long foot feathers. Whitmer in 2009 concluded that this evidence is sufficient to demonstrate that avian evolution went through a four-winged stage. Fossil evidence also demonstrates that birds and dinosaurs shared features such as hollow, pneumatized bones, gastroliths in the digestive system, nest building and brooding behaviors. The groundbreaking discovery of fossilized Tyrannosaurus rex soft tissue allowed a molecular comparison of cellular anatomy and protein sequencing of collagen tissue, both of which demonstrated that T. rex and birds are more closely related to each other than either is to alligator. A second molecular study robustly supported the relationship of birds to dinosaurs, though it did not place birds within theropoda, as expected. This study utilized eight additional collagen sequences extracted from a femur of Brachylophosaurus canadensis, a hadrosaur. A study comparing embryonic, juvenile and adult archosaur skulls concluded that bird skulls are derived from those of theropod dinosaurs by progenesis, a type of pedomorphic heterochrony, which resulted in retention of juvenile characteristics of their ancestors. The origin of birds has historically been a contentious topic within evolutionary biology. However, only a few scientists still debate the dinosaurian origin of birds, suggesting descent from other types of archosaurian reptiles. Among the consensus that supports dinosaurian ancestry, the exact sequence of evolutionary events that gave rise to the early birds within Manoraptorian theropods is hotly disputed. The origin of bird flight is a separate but related question for which there are also several proposed dances. Research History Huxley, Archaeopteryx An early research scientific investigation into the origin of birds began shortly after the 1859 publication of Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species. In 1860, a fossilized feather was discovered in Germany's late Jurassic Solnhofen limestone. Christian Erich Hermann von Meyer described this feather as Archaeopteryx lithographica the next year. Richard Owen described a nearly complete skeleton in 1863, recognizing it as a bird despite many features reminiscent of reptiles, including clawed forelimbs and a long, bony tail. Biologist Thomas Henry Huxley, known as Darwin's Bulldog, for his tenacious support of the new theory of evolution by means of natural selection, almost immediately seized upon Archaeopteryx as a transitional fossil between birds and reptiles. Starting in 1868, and following earlier suggestions by Carl Gegenbaugh and Edward Drinker Cope, Huxley made detailed comparisons of Archaeopteryx with various prehistoric reptiles and found that it was most similar to dinosaurs like Hypsilophodon and Compsognathus. The discovery in the late 1870s of the iconic Berlin specimen of Archaeopteryx, complete with a set of reptilian teeth, provided further evidence. Huxley was the first to propose an evolutionary relationship between birds and dinosaurs. Although Huxley was opposed by the very influential Owen, his conclusions were accepted by many biologists, including Baron Franzen OPCSA, while others, notably Harry Seeley, argued that the similarities were due to convergent evolution. Heilman and the Thecodont hypothesis A turning point came in the early 20th century with the writings of Gerhard Heilman of Denmark. 
An artist by trade, Heilman had a scholarly interest in birds and from 1913 to 1916 published the results of his research in several parts, dealing with the anatomy, embryology, behavior, paleontology, and evolution of birds. His work, originally written in Danish as Vornu Verende Viden om Fuglenis of Stamming, was compiled, translated into English, and published in 1926 as The Origin of Birds. Like Huxley, Heilman compared Archaeopteryx and other birds to an exhaustive list of prehistoric reptiles and also came to the conclusion that theropod dinosaurs like Compsognathus were the most similar. However, Heilman noted that birds had clavicles fused to form a bone called the furcula, and while clavicles were known in more primitive reptiles, they had not yet been recognized in dinosaurs. Since he was a firm believer in Dolo's law, which states that evolution is not reversible, Heilman could not accept that clavicles were lost in dinosaurs and re-evolved in birds. He was therefore forced to rule out dinosaurs as bird ancestors and ascribe all of their similarities to convergent evolution. Heilman stated that bird ancestors would instead be found among the more primitive thecodont grade of reptiles. Heilman's extremely thorough approach ensured that his book became a classic in the field and its conclusions on bird origins, as with most other topics, were accepted by nearly all evolutionary biologists for the next four decades. Clavicles are relatively delicate bones and therefore in danger of being destroyed or at least damaged beyond recognition. Nevertheless, some fossil theropod clavicles had actually been excavated before Heilman wrote his book but these had been misidentified. The absence of clavicles in dinosaurs became the orthodox view despite the discovery of clavicles in the primitive theropod Segasaurus in 1936. The next report of clavicles in a dinosaur was in a Russian article in 1983, contrary to what Heilman believed. Paleontologists now accept that clavicles and in most cases furcular are a standard feature not just of theropods but of saurischian and dinosaurs. Up to late 2007 ossified furcular have been found in all types of theropods except the most basal ones, Eoraptor and Hererosaurus. The original report of a furcula in the primitive theropod Segasaurus was confirmed by a re-examination in 2005. Joined, furcula-like clavicles have also been found in Massospondylus, an early Jurassic sauropodomorph, Ostrum, Deinonychus and the dinosaur Renaissance. The tide began to turn against the Thecodont hypothesis after the 1964 discovery of a new theropod dinosaur in Montana. In 1969, this dinosaur was described and named Deinonychus by John Ostrom of Yale University. The next year, Ostrom re-described a specimen of Pterodactylus in the Dutch Teller Museum as another skeleton of Archaeopteryx. The specimen consisted mainly of a single wing and its description made Ostrom aware of the similarities between the wrists of Archaeopteryx and Deinonychus. In 1972, British paleontologist Alec Walker hypothesized that birds arose not from thecodonts but from crocodile ancestors like Sphenosuchus. Ostrom's work with both theropods and early birds led him to respond with a series of publications in the mid-1970s in which he laid out the many similarities between birds and theropod dinosaurs, resurrecting the ideas first put forth by Huxley over a century before. Ostrom's recognition of the dinosaurian ancestry of birds, along with other new ideas about dinosaur metabolism, activity levels, and parental care, began what is known as the dinosaur renaissance, which began in the 1970s and continues to this day. Ostrom's revelations also coincided with the increasing adoption of phylogenetic systematics, which began in the 1960s with the work of Willy Hennig. Cladistics is a method of arranging species based strictly on their evolutionary relationships, using a statistical analysis of their anatomical characteristics. In the 1980s, cladistic methodology was applied to dinosaur phylogeny for the first time by Jacques Gauthier and others. 
showing unequivocally that birds were a derived group of theropod dinosaurs. Early analyses suggested that Dromaeosaurid theropods like Deinonychus were particularly closely related to birds, a result that has been corroborated many times since. Modern research in feathered dinosaurs in China The early 1990s saw the discovery of spectacularly preserved bird fossils in several early Cretaceous geological formations in the northeastern Chinese province of Liaoning. In 1996, Chinese paleontologists described Cynosauropteryx as a new genus of bird from the Yizhan formation. But this animal was quickly recognized as a theropod dinosaur closely related to Compsognathus. Surprisingly, its body was covered by long filamentous structures. These were dubbed protofeathers and considered homologous with the more advanced feathers of birds. Although some scientists disagree with this assessment, Chinese and North American scientists described Chordipteryx and Protarchaeopteryx soon after. Based on skeletal features, these animals were non-avian dinosaurs, but their remains bore fully formed feathers closely resembling those of birds. Archaeoraptor, described without peer review in a 1999 issue of National Geographic, turned out to be a smuggled forgery. But legitimate remains continue to pour out of the Yijan, both legally and illegally. Feathers or protofeathers have been found on a wide variety of theropods in the Yijan, and the discoveries of extremely bird-like dinosaurs, as well as dinosaur-like primitive birds, have almost entirely closed the morphological gap between theropods and birds. A small minority, including ornithologists Alan Federchia and Larry Martin, continues to assert that birds are instead the descendants of earlier archosaurs, such as Longoscomae or Euparcaria. Embryological studies of bird developmental biology have raised questions about digit homology in bird and dinosaur forelimbs. However, due to the cogent evidence provided by comparative anatomy and phylogenetics, as well as the dramatic feathered dinosaur fossils from China, the idea that birds are derived dinosaurs, first championed by Huxley and later by NOPCSA and Ostrom, enjoys near unanimous support among today's paleontologists. Thermogenic muscle hypothesis A new theory of bird origin suggests that selection for the expansion of skeletal muscle, rather than the evolution of flight, was the driving force for the emergence of this clade. Muscles became larger in prospectively endothermic saurians, according to this hypothesis. As a response to the loss of the vertebrate mitochondrial uncoupling protein, UCP1, which is thermogenic, in mammals, UCP1 functions within brown adipose tissue to protect newborns against hypothermia. In modern birds, skeletal muscle serves a similar function and is presumed to have done so in their ancestors. In this view, bipedality and other avian skeletal alterations were side effects of muscle hyperplasia, with further evolutionary modifications of the forelimbs, including adaptations for flight or swimming, and vestigiality, being secondary consequences of two-leggedness. Phylogeny Archaeopteryx has historically been considered the first bird, or a vogel, although newer fossil discoveries fill the gap between theropods and Archaeopteryx, as well as the gap between Archaeopteryx and modern birds. Phylogenetic taxonomists, in keeping with tradition, almost always use Archaeopteryx as a specifier to help define aves. Aves has more rarely been defined as a crown group consisting only of modern birds. Nearly all paleontologists regard birds as Coeurosaurian theropod dinosaurs. Within Coeurosauria, multiple cladistic analyses have found support for a clade named Manoraptora, consisting of their azinosauroids, ovraptorosaurs, troodontids, dromaeosaurids, and birds. If these dromaeosaurids and troodontids are usually united in the clade Deinonychosauria, which is a sister group to birds within the stem clade Parives, other studies have proposed alternative phylogenies, in which certain groups of dinosaurs usually considered non-avian may have evolved from avian ancestors. 
For example, a 2002 analysis found that of raptorosaurs were basilavians. Alvarez swords, known from Asia and the Americas, have been variously classified as basal manoraptorans, paravians, the sister taxon of ornithomimosaurs, as well as specialized early birds. The genus Rahonavish, originally described as an early bird, has been identified as a non-avian dromaeosaurid in several studies. Dromaeosaurids and troodontids themselves have also been suggested to lie within Aves rather than just outside it.